I take it Lana's having you run errands again. Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. <laughs> Here, she asked me to give this to you if there was a break in today's trial. It's evidence law for dummies. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. We've been breaking that law every trial, every single time. That means the real killer is still out there. What? <laughs> what? Miscalculated. All right, Phoenix and Shadworth together. Let's take them down. Let's go. The inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. I don't give a shit, your honor. They can go fuck themselves. Hmm, yes, well, I am. I have a solution. Oh, a solution? Yes. See your thumbs in front of you. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, stick them both right up your ass. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say that if Chadworth ever stuck a thumb up someone's ass, they would die. Hmm, that's right. The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. Meekins! Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. Hope you have a book in your pocket to throw at me. That's my only weakness. Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. If you're going to stare at anything, stare at my gigantic, gigantic hand. These articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation. That was an illegal search. It doesn't count. Even though every single other search you've done is illegal, now it's relevant. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. However, Detective Gumshoe is present during the investigation. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Basically, what I'm arguing for right now is that all evidence ever collected at any place ever could be forged. All evidence can be thrown out, even if there were multiple people there when we saw it. The whole justice system is going to come crumbling down with my argument right now. When investigating the crime scene, you should have been more careful to observe protocol. Uh, judge, we did the same thing that we've done every single time ever, and it hasn't been a problem. Oh, oh, oh funny you admit that. Oh, okay, all your cases you worked on are now thrown out. Chowworth, get the fucking prison. I, I thought that these rules just weren't applicable in this world, and that's why we weren't wearing gloves and being careful. No, it just turns out we're fucking idiot. I okay, this is a bit frustrating, but maybe it's on purpose. Really, Chief Gant, at the very least, there is one large benefit you've reaped from all this. That would, of course, be the position you have. Chief of Police. Oh. Oh! You left all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. Okay, I have no idea how they moved the body. And all this time I thought it was just a useless clue just taking up space. Wait, to move the victim's body? Chief can't use this. I don't know. I have no idea. That, no, that was broken. There's, there's nothing big enough to move a body. No, 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 no. There's no fucking way. No, 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 no. Like that cat how it got in the car. It, it, okay, let's fuck it. Let's go for 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 it. You, are you fucking serious? What, what are we? Okay, are we trying to figure out how the body got to the prosecutor's office or how the body got in the car? I want to know how the body got in the car. How, how did the body get out of the evidence room and into the car? I know how the body got to the prosecutor's office. It was this. Like, he baited Chadworth into driving it back. How did it get into the car? How did he get it from the office all the way down into the parking lot, across the parking lot, open the trunk of the car, put it in, I almost said boot there, close it, and then saunter away with no blood, no trail, nothing. Like, what? The body was moved by that car. But how did it get in the car? Why are we worried about that first? How did it get in the car? That's a good one's body. It was carried in the trunk of Mr. Chadworth's car. Hmm, yes, but how did it get in the fucking car, right? I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Do I have any concrete proof? We always do. Let's go. Present evidence. Oh, then please hurry up and present it. Just remember, I better prove Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman beyond a shadow of a doubt. Shit. <laughs> This book. Yes, uh, uh, evidence law from uh, this, this book. <sighs> Let's try it. So, uh, what exactly is this evidence? It's proof as whether or not it's enough to demonstrate the chief's guilt. I'll let you be the judge. Oh, uh, I am the judge. <laughs> Emma, why don't you wait? No, I'm going with you. I want to be there when Lana tells the truth and the judge will let someone who just got found guilty of murder on the defense's bar. It's fine. I broke off the dark knife, planted inside the wound, then moved the body. I took out the knife, put the tip in, and then put the knife back in, and somehow didn't get any blood on me whatsoever, but I had blood all over me when I replaced a knife in another dead body that had been dead for longer. Okay. 
It's a miracle that thing hadn't br broken earlier. It certainly looks as feeble as the defense's case. Whoa, but not as feeble as the judge's judgment. Ooh. Oh, all right then. Let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. I'm a lawyer. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Wh what do you mean illegal evidence? There's no such thing as legal evidence. Every piece of evidence that's ever brought into this court has been allowed. What do you mean? Didn't even know there was a concept of illegal evidence. Remember, Uji? I, I, I don't. Oh shit, I mean I do, I do, I want to keep my job. Oh, these dentures are expensive. I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claim is legally correct, but as usual, we don't give a fuck about legally correct here. It's fine, let's go. There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Uji, don't listen to his lies. You know the law better than him. He only just read it this morning. You are a fucking judge. Earlier, we refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. Yeah, this book. Yeah, 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 this book. What's this? No one reads this fucking book. Hmm, yeah, you're right, not even me. In other words, the real murderer, and there's only one person who that could be. Emma Scott, uh, Damon Gant. The, yeah, the killer's, yeah, right, tell him, yeah. Tell him, Phoenix, tell him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, from the ashes, Phoenix rises. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> fucking hell. Then you put the body in my car. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of any other way to move the body. How did you get it to the car? I broke your trunk, but that's the big- Woo! Woo! You make a lot more than a detective's ever will. Uh, uh, oh, we're just like, uh, out of the office, out of the evidence room, out of the door, down the hallway, down the stairs of the elevator, in through the parking lot, over to the car. What? Aw, oh, she smiled finally, nice. So they all have a moment, like the, the people that are guilty, they all have a moment where their character sprites change into being like the evil truth that comes out. And she had the opposite. She was cold and, and, and reserved the whole time. And now she finally smiled. Oh, that's nice. Not guilty. Confetti court. Woo, confetti court. Woo, 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 yeah. That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. Lana. Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Oh, oh shit, yeah, you're right. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did, or become fucking Batman. Chadman, Damon Gant and your mentor, Manfred von Karma, were both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. <laughs> Such a dumb joke. Why do I keep doing it? It's the worst dumb joke. I don't know why it's stuck. The sake the sake thing. It's just the worst joke. Something that neither Chadworth and I would have been able to find on our own. I'm a lawyer. Shit, what is it? Why y'all think I'm baiting? Can't I just be stupid? Can't I just be dumb? Yeah, let's go go into business together. We can both be attorneys together. R right, right in Chadworth. Rightworth. Chad Wright, then we can be together. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have our office together, Mr. Chadworth. Here, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation. It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. R really? That was the first book you ever bought? Not like Catcher in the Rye? Like, really? That, 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 okay, thanks sis, I will. No, you see, when an anime character is born, they're locked into what they're gonna do for their whole life. And every single decision they ever make is toward that purpose and goal. Every single moment of backstory must be relevant to the to the occupation that they pick at the end for their anime career. Well, don't go trekking off just yet, pal. Huh? What is it, detective? It's spaghetti time. There's just a little matter to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, I fucking lied. Well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. <laughs> huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes, and it's been 31 minutes, so we're proper fucked. Alright, that kind of sucked. I don't know. Like, I think that might have been my least favorite case so far. Even number three was at least entertaining in some ways. Like, this was really drawn out, really long, didn't make any sense really, and it was frustrating, and it still wasn't really that much entertaining. So I, th I think that that's my least favorite of the five. The worst thing in the case was that, or the, the, only, the only really bad thing in the case was... 
Well, I mean, there, there was also the part where they didn't really explain how she saw the vase toppled over at the same time with the lightning flash when the two people were stabbing each other and it somehow looked like the blue badger and it was never explained that the blue, that's what that note caused the blue badger design. It was just a complete co total coincidence to link those two together. I mean, like apart from that, well, there's also the part where um, like, I, I really just don't give a shit about Lana and Emma's relationship. It was like, I don't really care. It was like, I wasn't invested emotionally in, any, in either of them. But apart from that, well, there was also the, that, that Miss, Miss Star's testimony was complete, completely batshit. And they never explained how. They never explained how, like, she lied and then she was up on the top and she saw, like, Lana move back and forth as she was doing it. And she took five minutes to get through the parking lot. Like, like Lana w was supposed to dispose of the body or could have ran away at that time. And it's never explained why she didn't do that. She just kind of wasted all that time when she could have just, like, fucked off or did her job. I don't understand really what she was doing that time. I don't think she knew she was being, like, watched at the time. But, like, apart from that... Well, there's also that they never explained how Gant got the Goodman's body out of the out of the thing and and down into the into the into the fucking out of the this evidence locker and down through the the fucking parking lot and shit into the car and that no one noticed the car was broken or anything like that, you know? Like apart from apart from that, like the worst thing in the case is that Phoenix and Chowworth never shouted objection at the same time. That's the worst thing in the case. First Ace Attorney stream. Second Ace Attorney stream. Third Ace Attorney stream. Fourth Ace Attorney game. It's like it's like he's holding the comic. <laughs>